Hey everyone, um, today, we were, this wasn't what I, we were gonna get from the store, it was supposed to be something else, but, um, we found this and I've seen this, um, on a lot of YouTube videos, well, BuzzFeed for one, where they tried this, so I wanna try it, it's Ramu Carbonated Drink, and, I'm, just cut that part out, Sarah. You're gonna say it, say it right. It's Ramun um, drink, as you can plainly see, it is Japanese. Um, and yeah, wow, that's cool. It's a five, like if you take this, it's a five cents refill, but not here in the U.S. It's in Japan. Um, this drink is like really weird. There's like a, from what I've seen, there's like a little ball in here, and the instructions they're up here. Some of them are in Japanese, but they have the English here, so thank goodness. Okay, how to open. Remove the seal from the top. Detach. Okay, so it's basically remove this entire plastic thing. So I have to remove without messing up. Okay. I have removed the plunger as well, which is this. Okay. So then, detach the plunger from the center of the cap. Okay, I don't think that was... Place the plunger on top of the bottle. Then press firmly down with the base of your palm to release the marble. That's not right. The base of your palm? You can release the base of your palm. Basically like this. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, hold on. It's like this. And then... Hold the... Or hold... I feel like I'm gonna stab myself. My... Whoa! That is cool! Can you see? Look, there's like a little ball in there. There's a little ball. And then what is the next... What is the... How do you... And then... It says throw away the seal, cap, and plunger. Have fun drinking ramen. And apparently it said on this, it says do not swallow the plunger. Who? They put rules because people have done them before, so let's try this. I've never tried this before. It tastes like bubblegum. So, like, so this is Ramun. There's a marble inside and it moves back and forth and everything. Um, apparently, I think once you're done, you can take... Don't... So apparently what I've heard from, like, what I've seen a lot of videos, like, I remember they were talking about what people have actually, like, eaten the marble. Don't eat the marble. Seriously. And don't eat the plunger either. Nor the wrapper. Nor the entire bottle, okay? So, yeah. This is what I got. Carbonated with new water. Guys, this is so good to drink, but it's so hard to drink out of because there's like a little hole. It's not like regular, it's not like regular sodas where the whole thing is open. You can just chug it down. Okay, like, yeah, this is, this is like, to them, this would be like a extra large, like soda or large. Like to us here, this is basically kind of like a small, this is, this is basically like a small, that's Murka. But yeah, this is wrong with drink. I would suggest that you all try it. It's really good. Especially mar Don't eat the marble, seriously. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so the next thing we're going to try is this. Mr. Brown's Iced Coffee. I honestly don't know why this was in, their in the international thing. But apparently from what I'm reading on the can, it's like... I don't know. It looks American to me. Oh, product of Taiwan. Tapi Taiwan. And on the can it says Kakash refund me ten cents. And then it says Yevat me. That's weird. I don't know what heck language it is. It's Taipei, not Taipei. So let's try this. Shake it really well. I don't think I should have done that. 
Iced coffee. I think it was supposed to be cold. Oh well. <coughs> when they mean iced coffee, it is literal coffee. Like, dude. Oh. Um, like, that tasted literally like somebody got cold coffee from the coffee pot and just poured it in the can. I'm not even joking. Hey, hey, hey. It's not like Starbucks coffee. You gotta is, admit it's good. It is good. This okay. This is like this is not false advertising. Starbucks, that's false advertising. The the can like the mocha things. Yeah. So I guess when they mean iced coffee, it, it, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It tastes really good. Like this is not false advertisement. See, Marco, why can't you, Marco, why can't you do something like this? Like, you promise us something? See, like, this is, this is why Marco's, like, so, like, not cool, because I was totally gonna be, be prepared for, like, it to not taste like coffee. And what do you know? It does taste literally like cold coffee. So, yeah, guys, that was me trying different things. Um, honestly, I really liked this one. And the coffee, you guys should try it out. They sell them at HEB. Um, if you live in Texas, it's any HEB. But you have to go to the internal section. It's okay. So, see you later, guys, and have a beautiful day.